Our enterprise is a part of a large production association, Kira, which is engaged in the production of medicines. We use various pharmaceutical equipment that meets the requirements and standards of GMP to produce our products, a unit for dehydration of aqueous solutions and extracts in a fluidized bed apparatus, rotary tablet machines, an automatic line for packaging tablets into plastic film, and foil and other high-tech machines and apparatuses. At the beginning of last year, we received a large order for the supply of a drug for the treatment of animals. We signed a contract for two years. The drug was to be supplied in a 10 milliliters plastic syringe. Implementing the order at our plant was impossible without purchasing new equipment. We decided to purchase new automatic equipment for bottling into syringes with subsequent capping. A capper is used to feed the bottles automatically and closes the neck of the bottle with rubber plugs and aluminum caps, as well as screw caps. In addition, the syringes are supplied in individual blister packs. This had to be taken into account when selecting the machine. The capacity of the machine must be at least 2,000 syringes per hour. I've been working for 20 years at our company as a chief engineer, and I'm used to do my work well and to work only with experts. I took the choice of a filling machine seriously. I didn't search for equipment on the internet because very often a pretty picture hides unprofessionalism. I visited the International Exhibition of Equipment, Raw Materials and Technologies for Pharmaceutical Production, which took place in Moscow. There were many machines for filling into blister packs on display, companies from all over the world. Unfortunately, I could not travel to the EU as I did not have a visa and the visa process would have taken at least three months. One company from China sent me a catalog of products in the mail. I longed to choose, but I could not figure out whether the equipment can fill bottles of plastic with the allowable volume of the syringe. A third manufacturer from Krasnodar listened to me and replied that he could make the equipment only six months, citing the large volume of orders. I had to refuse since I needed the machine in the shortest possible time. The contract for the supply of syringes with medicine was already signed, and we could not wait for the equipment for packaging in blisters. The machine had to be found, and I realized that I could not do it alone. This somewhat diminished my confidence. Here, however, I was helped by the manager of the company in Krasnodar, who advised me a specialist in the supply of pharmaceutical equipment, which would be able to find another option of equipment. Following his advice, I turned to a specialist mediator from Moscow. At that time I had no idea that I was doing the right thing. I liked the suggested variant of the machine. I quickly agreed with the management. A week later we signed a contract for supply of automatic equipment for packaging syringes into blisters, and in a month after the contract was signed, we received working equipment for filling and capping in plastic syringes. The machine works perfectly, there were no malfunctions. Initially I was skeptical about choosing a manager, relying on my own experience, but I realized that one should always learn, and not be afraid to trust a professional.